I came to this earth to create. That's why I came. I didn't know that when I was younger. I didn't know that I was gonna take art this serious. But now, from everything that I've witnessed and everything that I've experienced, I truly know my purpose. I've always been fascinated with trees. Ever since I was a child, and um, whatever comes out of my spirit is what goes on the canvas, you know? When I discovered camouflage, it showed me a different perspective. It was crazy. I'd never seen colors flow like that. Immediately, I said to myself, I want to embody the whole thing. It was the energy. It was undeniable. The beauty and the way the camouflage, I watched it evolve over time. I know what comes with the camouflage in the hunt industry. And I know this is a predominantly white man's thing, but for some reason, it chose me. And I just felt it. It's hard to explain, but my connection with nature, truly the true connection with nature, it changed my life. It got me out the hood. It brought an inner city kit from Newark, New Jersey, all the way to North Carolina. Got them surrounded by trees and dirt bikes. Just to one day grow up to be a black guy that paint camouflage just to give people perspective. And you know what? 100 years from now, somebody gonna have my trucks in the museum. I promise you, they will, they will. My name is Artie Barksdale III. I am a freelance artist and my home is Burlington, North Carolina. Burlington is one of those cities that you can make a name for yourself. When I came to Burlington, I found a way to merge the different cultures, my black audience with the white audience, camouflage on one side, graffiti on the other side. I said, I'm gonna make this work. And I started getting a name for myself. Oh my God. What's up? What do you say, brother? What do you great, say, man? You done a great job, man. That's man I want to <laughs> see right there. What's going on, man? <laughs> man, looks good, looks, looks good. good right? <laughs> when I create beautiful art, it just sends chills. It's like they can't stop looking at it. It's doing something to their soul. And I know what that feels like. It's been sitting in my soul for years. It's just hitting yours. I create whether I'm getting paid for it or not. It's going to come out. I love to inspire, and I love the sound of ooh and ah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. I mean, just everyone wanted to know, where'd you get that done? Who painted your truck? Is it a wrap? That's the biggest question. Man, I love your wrap. Well, it's not a wrap. It's a custom, hand-painted paint job. I'm very, very impressed. You know, the man pulled it off again, and... Uh, Looks great. It's kind of funny because people don't understand. So there's nothing going on in Burlington. To them, it's a dead place, but to me, it's a blank canvas. Now, my plan for this, for this entire uh, strip is to decorate it up with murals. Um, this is the second one that I did. It's inside of Crazy Cuts. Come on in. So when I first came to the neighborhood, the owner, Mike, he told me I can do what I wanted to do. So I just put this together for him. The 90s colors. I got the colors from Martin, right? So I'm just out here in the neighborhood, just trying to spruce it up and uh, give uh, some people to talk about, bro, and something to talk about. So, yeah. The type of art that I want to produce is if you can stand right here in this one spot you'll be able to see art on this wall, that wall, the walls behind it, and even the ones far beyond. It's kind of like how my head is. I've got all of these ideas. And you know what's so crazy? I've had this in my dream. I said, I keep dreaming, dreaming about a place that I can build up artistically, creatively. I just want a whole entire neighborhood to myself, you know? 
I love this place. My art, it's, it's my first love. What it made me want to be is something different. When I was living in Newark, we lived in the projects. It's the same story that you hear all the time. And it, it was bad. And I started getting into my art and I realized from a very young age that I didn't want to be no thug. I didn't want to be a gangster. I said, you know what? I want to go back home and I want to get on my sketch pad. Before you know it, time went by and my art just got better and better and better. And I could see my future is bright. And it was so crazy because everything that I went through, I didn't realize that it was shaping my creativity, getting me prepared for something. It wasn't about the money. I'm one of those artists that I don't paint just for kicks. I like to go into an area and say, okay, this area needs this type of artwork. I'm really good at that. I started painting murals. I wanted to create what you call a landmark or a mark in time. And I do it because I want my art to speak for me. I want to create wide open and stop traffic. And Burlington has a lot of open, empty canvas here with my name on it. And if nobody comes and gets it, I'm going to take the whole thing to myself. I really am. This mural was commissioned by Scram Furniture, and I, it was a project where uh, I was allowed to do exactly what inspired me the most. And this is pretty much a group of hematite magnets that my son plays with. Come here, Denim. This is Denim, and uh, CCC is the mural, and he's the inspiration for the mural. And what's so special about this mural is it's a landmark for my son to know that this is, this is his daddy's home, you know? Denim and I have a long distance relationship. So I take the Amtrak train to Charlotte and when it returns back, this mural is the first thing he sees. And 40 years from now, he's gonna look back at it and say, my father painted that many years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's timeless. When people tell you that art tells a story, it truly does. It truly does. I'm connected to it all. You know, I paint by emotion, I paint by feeling. Whatever I'm connected to, you have to truly, truly want it. And it has to be important to you. My art hasn't made me rich, but I got some rich memories. A lot. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Oh yeah, how you feeling? We had an awesome day today, right? Daddy love you, man. Hmm? I love you too. You love me? Uh-huh. Just much. Uh-huh. Right? Alright, cool. We'll miss you.